Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to install OpenSSH server on Ubuntu and I will also show you how you can remotely connect to this OpenSSH server from your Windows operating system. So I have this virtual machine and in this uh, virtual machine I have Ubuntu installed already and in this uh, Ubuntu operating system here I will just open the terminal and I will uh, just give the command to install open SSH server. So it's uh, pretty simple. Just write uh, this command on your uh, terminal. Write sudo apt-get install open SSH server and ju just press enter and it will ask for your uh, permission just say yes or why and press enter and while in installing I will uh, tell you what is the use of this open SSH uh, server so when you have uh, this open SSH server you can uh, access this operating system or this PC which is running on this Ubuntu uh, from a remote location so this SSH server creates a secured shell uh, which you can access from the other uh, other computer which has SSH client on it so let me show you how you can do it so this SSH server is already installed in my uh, Ubuntu operating system what I will do now is uh, I will check my IP address in here of my Ubuntu operating system right so for uh, checking uh, the IP address of my Ubuntu operating system I will give the command first I will clear sorry clear the screen and I will give IF config so give if config and it will return you your IP address of your Ubuntu operating system so you will be able to see this ETH 0 and you can see this IP address here okay so let me first uh, see if I can ping this uh, IP address from my Windows command line so because uh, I have this virtual machine so it, it is automatically uh, connected to my windows so let me show you just go to start here and write cmd and press enter and this opens your command line on windows and just write here ping and this IP which Ubuntu has so write one seven okay so i will ping this uh, ubuntu operating system from my windows and i'll press enter and you see it's giving me the reply so it's connected to my ubuntu operating system my windows operating system is connected to my ubuntu operating system now what i will do is there is a very uh, useful SSH client uh, available on uh, the internet which is open source so it's free to download so I will show you how to download it so just go to your browser and write here putty and it will give you some links and you want to go to this www.putty.org just click it and you can download this putty from here and installing putty is uh, not uh, complicated so just some next uh, button you need to click and then you can install putty in your windows operating system so what putty is it is a SSH client or telnet client so right now what we have done is we have installed SSH, SSH server on our Ubuntu and then we will install putty on our 
uh, Windows operating system which is a client so from client we will be able to access our server which is Ubuntu right so just install putty on your Windows operating system just download it from here just click it and install it and after you install it just go to your start and search for putty yeah and here it is so just open it and when you open it for the first time it looks like this and here what you want to do is just give this IP address here so I will give my Ubuntu IP address which is 172.16.80.128 and this port will remain the same right and just click open and for the first time when you uh, connect to this Ubuntu SSH server it will show you this warning so uh, if you click yes then it will never show this warning again but if, when you click no it will show you this warning every time when you uh, try to connect with SSH server so it's better to uh, click no because uh, for security reasons uh, when you uh, configure this on a, uh, on a company server or something like that for, for professional use then you need to understand uh, the security settings so just click next or no from here I'm going to click no and now you are connected to this Ubuntu server through your putty client so just give your uh, login name for your Ubuntu operating system here my login name for my Ubuntu operating system is like this so I will write Ubuntu 1 which is my login name and I will press enter and I will give my password for the Ubuntu right so I will write my password and I am connected to my Ubuntu operating system from my Windows operating system so like this I can access all the file system and I can transfer file from my Windows to Ubuntu uh, operating system just with this uh, SSH client so for example you you will be able to see this this is same Ubuntu 1 at the rate Ubuntu and here also you can see the same command so whatever you can do here on the command line in Ubuntu operating system you will be able to perform it all the same command here also so you can uh, access remotely your Ubuntu server from your Windows client right so for example I give the command list out all the directories here so you can see all the directories are all here and uh, you can go to some directory So in this way you can use this server and client object server and client uh, uh, using SSH, SSH server and client and I hope you will be able to create this network and I hope all the best for your future project using SSH and just keep watching this video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now.